Hello friends, my name is Amit. In this video, we will understand working of a ceiling fan. First of all, first of all, we will understand the history of fan. Many days ago, the size of fan is too large, and they are operated with the help of steam. Then, after few few years, electricity is invented. Then, after few years, the mechanical engineer, uh, engineer as well as scientist Mr. Philip Dehill, registered the patent of ceiling fan. Now I am giving an AC supply to a coil. As it is an alternating current, the direction of current will move forward and backward continuously, and magnetism is produced inside a coil. Now, because of direction of current changing continuously, the magnetic poles will changes continuously. Now I am adding one more coil to previous coil, and which is perpendicular to first one, and I am giving some AC supply by bypassing. through the same source so the magnetic flux will induce to both the coils which is showing by the blue color now i am adding capacitor to the supply line of second of second coil so that we can pass the current at 90 degree phase difference to the first coil supply so because of that magnetic poles of both coils changes in proportion to each other now if we look properly we can see that the north pole is revolving continuously that is the magnetic flux lines are rotating and the area becomes continuously changing magnetic field now faraday's law of magnetic induction states that if a conductor is placed inside a changing magnetic field then the voltage or emf will induce inside the conductor so according to this law the voltage will induce inside the conductor and if there is a fixed the magnetic flux and we will introduce the conductor inside it then also voltage will induce inside the conductor but it will not remain for long time now i took two bar of two bar magnets and if both magnets south poles came near to each other then they will repel each other and if opposite poles came to came near to each other uh, they will attract each other as it is a basic principle which knows everyone we will move forward now i am adding a circular ring to a changing magnetic field so according to faraday's law the voltage will induce inside the circular ring and hence the magnetic field is also produced near the circular ring now magnetic field of coils and magnetic field of circular ring will suffer attraction and repulsion between them and the torque is produced inside the circular ring it will rotate so that it will rotate in clockwise direction now we will see how fan is rotating with the help of same principle if we open the fan we will see primary winding secondary winding and circular disc now the supply is given to both the coils the magnetic flux will generate near the windings and as the circular ring is in the changing magnetic flux the voltage will induce inside the ring also and hence the magnetic flux is induced near the circular ring now because of attraction and repulsion between them the torque is generated in the circular ring and it starts rotating the circular ring is connected to the fan and blades so that they also rotate with it now we understand that how fan rotate now we will understand why there is a need of capacitor actually i am giving the supply to the primary winding at 90 degree phase difference with the help of the capacitor and secondary winding is insufficient to produce a starting torque so that the starting torque torque is provided with the help of primary winding then the fan is rotated continuously with the help of secondary winding okay friends in this video we will understand the working of fan so if you want to know the working of any other machines you can comment me okay thank you friends please do like subscribe the channel